A lot of you talk about the future of Path of Titans and what is coming in the future, whether that's the near future or the far future, whether that's the upcoming pre-release or post-launch updates. Well, today I'm going to be talking about what is left to still come to Path of Titans. There is actually quite a bit to go over today, so hang tight. The timestamps are on the screen now, so you can go ahead and skip to those parts of the video. But of course, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Now, this section is a brief section because I see a lot of people talking about the Trello board. And when there's normally arguments against the game's development and stuff like that, people use the Trello board as a case of, oh, why aren't these in the game yet? Why is the Trello board not being updated? Now, I'm going to talk to you about the Trello board really quickly and just tell you some stuff that needs to be cleared up. Firstly, do not base the game's development from the Trello board. This is a widely known thing. This is because, well, firstly, the Trello board is old it hasn't been updated in quite a while an example of this is that modding is still in upcoming features however modding was released a couple months ago and it's actually been out for quite some time whether they are planning on extending modding i'm not too sure but as it stands modding should not be in the upcoming features the trello board is technically only something that you should be using as a base of what you can technically expect that isn't in the game yet obviously you've got modding that's in the game but but there's other stuff that is on there that isn't in the game like home caves, AI critters, AI dinosaurs and the likes of that. You can use it as a base of those main mechanics that are coming. Speaking of main mechanics, the Trello board does not include upcoming stretch goal features and the likes of that, whether that's new dinosaurs or other stuff like that. Because obviously the Trello board is just for the main features of the game. The stretch goal and backer creatures and stuff like that are actually new main features of the game but are not in this Trello board because that Trello board was made before those stretch goals were even met. Do not use the Trello board as a base for what you can expect next either. There is no order that the developers are going through. We can predict what's coming next but we can't use the Trello board as a base of what is coming next. That being said, that is hopefully able to clear up everything with the Trello board because I normally hear a lot of people argue and people using the Trello board to say that the game isn't developing because the Trello board has hasn't been updated and people using the Trello board to say when specific things are coming saying that some things are coming next just because the order that they are in for the Trello board. Hopefully this has cleared some things up for you guys. Other than that let's actually get to the main part of the video. <laughs> Then now let's talk about some stuff that you all definitely are excited for. The upcoming creatures. Now disclaimer here, there is no particular order that these creatures will be released in. Because at the moment obviously it goes a pre-release creature, a backer creature has been released or a couple have been released. And then obviously we get the normal base roster as well. Which you still need to complete. Speaking of the main roster, the official roster for Path of Titans. These are the three dinosaurs that we can still expect from this roster. Bars Baldia, which is the largest herbivore in the game, Eo Triceratops, and Allosaurus, which is the largest base official roster carnivore in the game. That being said, this big three used to include Daspletosaurus, but since Daspletosaurus has been released, it is likely that these ones could be coming soon, but we don't know the particular order that they are coming in. That being said, the developers do not favor herbivores or carnivores, they just release whichever fits necessary. So, what about the stretch goal creatures? Well, we firstly already have Anodontosaurus and Sarcosuchus. However, out of the stretch goal creatures, we actually have quite a bit left to go through. And there's a lot of critters. These are herbivores. These are carnivores. These are also flyers and aquatics. Note, the flies and aquatics will not be here until post-launch because there's something that I need to talk about in the future in later part of this video that explains that. However, there is quite a few creatures to go through here. These are Amargosaurus, Megalania, Microraptor, Tylosaurus, Phalasodromius, Ledicphes, Rampharynchus, Pycnonmosaurus, Yorhinosaurus, Hatsigopteryx, 
Pachycephalosaurus and Kai Wekia. Obviously, a nice mix of flies, aquatics, and dinosaurs, and of course, Megalania as well. So, it's a nice mix of critters there. And I bet a lot of you guys were thinking, well, what about the backer creatures? Why haven't you talked about the backer creatures yet? Well, be patient. I was literally just about to cover them. We already actually have two backer creatures, Alberta Ceratops and Dinocurus. However, there are three others, in fact, four other backer creatures that we actually have to include. This is Tyrannosaurus, Achillobator, and Miragea. However, we also have one mystery dinosaur that we don't actually know about yet. Whether this is an actual dinosaur, flyer, aquatic, I don't know what this final mystery is. I hope it's a really cool one. Maybe it's a Ferrazinosaur. Maybe it's something different. However, it actually hasn't been revealed yet. So, out of the stuff that we know is coming, there's one dinosaur that is in the game's roster that we do not know about. What do you guys think about this official roster of the game? Which ones do you think will be coming first? Let me know your order on which you think these will be coming into the game and let's see who's got the closest prediction there. And for the mechanics, you were thinking we were done after growth, but there is actually quite a few other ones that we can go over here. And I believe there are five or six mechanics that are still to be added to the game. If there's any more, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know which ones are still upcoming. That being said, let's just get right into these mechanics. Firstly, we have growth. This was actually already teased in to be upcoming and is probably the next major update for the game. Don't quote me on that. The devs were in mysterious ways however it is done via quests and the babies get seamless growth as well and the babies also get a baby skin which they grow out of over time. I've made a full video going over this and analysing the trailer video and two other videos just about growth so you can go and check them out as you wish. Next up we have nesting. This one ties into growth. You can be nested into the game similar to a lot of dinosaur games where nesting is included like Beast of Bermuda, The Owl Legacy and later The Isle of Rima. I believe Half of Titans will work like that as well and of course it's tied into growth. Next up we have the home cave mechanic. You can essentially own a home cave in which you can go to relax in. This will be where you are able to customize abilities in the future instead of laying down. This skips the bypass where you can bypass timers and stuff like that. You can also invite other dinosaurs into your home cave. Home caves also have a specific entrance and only you can go into yours. You can expand a home cave as well by completing quests and getting achievements. And home caves do not have food and water so you're going to have to walk out of them to go and find food and water however it's a very nice place to safe log and afk however i believe there might be some cheeky people hanging around the entrances to kill you when you go in them next up we have the ai mechanics that will be coming to the game this is actually a very popular mechanic that people want to see in the game in the near future this includes a lot of ai critters that inhabit the land and different environments you also get ai dinosaurs as well however some of the ai creatures include crocodiles Platyhistrix, that little burrowing mammal thing, and a whole bunch more. Fish already exist as in the game as AI. This is, of course, a further expansion on that. Next up, we get that replay system that was teased in the latest big dev blog for the game. It's essentially an inbuilt recording system within the game. It allows you to replay your game and create cinematic shots because your recording session that you've recorded, you can go ahead back and replay that from a detached camera view which allows you to get new views and create some awesome little cinematic videos. You can change the zoom, the blur, the focal distance, chromatic aberration, vignette and a whole bunch more. And finally there are local servers. Essentially this gives the ability to essentially host servers from their own computer. So if you want to host your own server when local servers are in you can do that. You can put mods on them and a whole bunch more. What do you guys think about these upcoming mechanics and features let me know if i've missed any in the comments down below Moving on from the mechanics, we go into game modes because these are technically very similar things. However, game modes bring new life to the game in terms of new ways to play the game. It's very different to the standard survival game and it adds a whole bunch of fun to the game as well. That being said, let's just talk about these game modes and let's just get right into them, shall we? So, which game modes are going to be in the game? Firstly, we have the deathmatch game mode, which is a penalty-free deathmatch mode. Comes with a smaller deathmatch map as well. 
This could be a team deathmatch based game mode or maybe a free for all based game mode. We have endless opportunities here and we actually haven't had a full explanation on this one. Next we have territories. This is a penalty free king of the hill style game mode. You essentially capture territories within the mode to win prizes and it's a team based game mode and it's of course a combat focused game mode as well. Next up we have capture the egg. Capture the egg is a capture the flag style game mode similar to the likes of what's in primal carnage with their capture the egg game mode obviously with just dinosaurs instead of humans and dinosaurs rewards team play and coordination and you are most likely to get some rewards as well of course like in territories as well of course this is a team based game mode as well and a combat focused game mode at that finally we have last herbivore standing this is like an infection game mode one carnivore versus a bunch of herbivores as that carnivore kills different herbivores those herbivores turn into carnivores and as time progresses you'll be left with one herbivore you're gonna have to stick out until the end of the timer and if you do kill all the herbivores you win the game mode but if you're a herbivore and you survive throughout the whole thing you win the game mode as well that's all the game modes which one are you most excited for i'm very excited for that last herbivore standing game mode very exciting in my opinion and here we have it, the final upcoming feature that I know of that I've included in this video. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. But this one is a brand new tropical island map, which is something that will be the base for flies and aquatics. That being said, flies and aquatics will not be in the game, most likely until this map is completed. However, this map, what is it? Well, it's going to be, if you think of Cerulean Islands, you can think of an island-based map based off of that. However, this map is going to be smaller than Pandora so bear that in mind. This map will focus an emphasis on open water and open air which of course means that the tying of aquatic and flying critters will be in this map. This will probably have multiple islands rather than just one since it will be an island chain that you can explore most likely. It will also be a post launch addition to the game so do not expect this one in the near future for the game. It's going to be after the launch so we've got a lot of things to go through in the game first and of course it is likely that flies and aquatics will release alongside or after this map has been completed so bear that in mind and that is that for the tropical island map because that's all we know for the new tropical island map and there we have it the big video overviewing what is to come in the future of path of titans i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think is coming next in path of titans and let me know if i've missed anything out of course if you are new to the channel feel free to subscribe if you don't want to miss discussion videos and news videos about upcoming dinosaur games. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.